Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramulu. Okay, today's topic is uh, longitudinal vibration vibration in a bar fixed at both end. So, like this bar. If it is a bar, and it this end and this end both ends are fixed. Then what happens? You know, so their boundary conditions fixed boundary conditions we know. If you apply the in general solution, then we can get uh, how it vibrates when we plug in the middle, uh, when the waves, longitudinal waves are traveling through it. What is the frequency for the longitudinal waves? So those things we can calculate in this e in this uh, video at the end. So first, let me start. Longitudinal vibration in a bar fixed at both ends. For the bar fixed at both ends, following boundary conditions are applied see for free for free and for, for fixed one for fixed one boundary conditions y value is zero where where the end is fixed but here actually both ends are fixed then y value is zero at both end here and here but it is a beginning con beginning and so let it is zero and this end is the next end can be taken as x is equals to l so these two things are written here okay y is equals to zero at x is equals to zero y is equals to zero at x is equals to l so that means it is a first end it is an next end okay at first end y value is zero at next end y value is y because it is fixed to both ends and solution solution for the bar longitudinal wave for the solution for the bar y is equals to a into e power of i omega t minus kx plus b into e power of i omega t plus kx applying the first boundary condition to the equation one so what is the first boundary condition this is okay y value zero and x value zero so substitute here y value zero and x value is also zero so substituted here like this then this term zero and this term zero then we get this one and this one like this and take common outside so e power of i omega t can be taken outside and uh, uh, here see their product is zero means uh, either this zero or this zero but actually what you know e power of i omega t never zero is it it is a uh, uh, it has certain value but then simply we can say a plus b is zero so a plus b is equals to zero means uh, b is equals to minus a can be written so in the place of b we have to substitute minus a in the equation one so that means here so here minus a is substituted in the equation one and now what we have to do after substituting minus a exponential terms so we have to separate them yes separate it like this and take the common factors right common factors so common factors also taken so a e power of omega t common taken then write the bracket this is but actually there is a formula for the sign but this minus term has to present this side and a plus term has to present this side for this what we have to do we have to take minus outside when we take minus outside this come this side and this come this side when you have the minus value here then multiply and divide with the 2i right so see here this is the formula for what sine kx sin kx formula is what e power of i kx minus e power of minus i kx by 2i so so this is the formula next this is a value let it is equation 2 so applying the second bc boundary condition to the equation 2 we have so second boundary condition by 0 at x equals to l okay so substitute here 0 and here l value then what so 0 is equals to minus 2 i a e power of i omega t sin k l okay so we know here here see the product of these two things 0 means either this 0 or this 0 so make it is equal to 0 right then at what angles of sine at what angles of sine is 0 so we know sine 0 value is 0, sine pi value is 0, sine 2 pi is 0, 3 pi is 0, so on we can write n pi also. 
Here real value starts from 0, 1, 2, 3. For all these values, sign time is 0. So where we have to substitute these values in the place of KL. So for the, all the KL values of n pi, so the sign pi sign KL is 0. So KL is equal to n pi. And from this we know k is equal to omega by c, c where c is the velocity of wave. Omega by c is equal to c l is equal to n pi. Omega is equal to n pi by l into c. And uh, omega is written as like this. 2 pi f. So here pi and this pi cancel. Then keep f only and bring to this side. It divides and I can be written n by 2l into c. c value is what? So we know the c value. This is the c value. So in the place of c, substitute it. And write it generalized formula means just to writing here n in the at, at the bottom of f right it is like this and now substitute n is equals to 1 then f1 is equals to 1 by 2l under root pi by rho this is called fundamental frequency if n is equals to can be written as here see n is equals to f2 is equals to 2 by 2l root y by rho and this also can be written as 2 into 1 by 2l root y by rho and see this is what it is simply f1 is it so that is why 2 into f1 so like this we have to write so this is called what so f2 is equals to f1 is called first to overtone f3 is equals to 3 f1 is called second overtone f4 is equals to 4 f1 is called third overtone so like this so on we have the overtones okay friends